Hey folks, Steve Shirk here. Um, today I want to talk about, you know, when, when you have spots that you're checking cameras, um, there might be spots that you're going to weekly, monthly, or sometimes a couple times a year. Uh, a lot of people know me as kind of a camera nut, so I kind of have a theory and a strategy to how I run and check my cameras. There's really a lot to it. At this particular spot, though, what I want to explain is I'm at one of my best hunting spots. Um, and even though right now it's literally early July and someone would say, you know, there's not much chance that you're going to have any impact as far as uh, putting any intrusion on for what the deer are going to be doing this fall and, you know, ruining the spot to say the least. Um, I still try to play it safe and not come in these areas very often at all. Maybe the deer that I plan to hunt isn't even anywhere in this area now, but there's going to be deer here um, no matter what. And I still believe that deer are constantly paying attention to what we're doing. So in your best spots, um, and this is one of them, like I said, I'll leave a camera here year round. I'm not... I'm not very concerned uh, when it comes to uh, you know deer being afraid of cameras and mature bucks, but I think one of the main reasons why I'm not is a lot of my cameras are out for 365 days a year, so the deer will get used to them, and that's why I definitely always leave a camera here in my best spots. Um, after a while, the deer just get used to it. Um, in fact, there's this camera will likely be on this tree years and whether it breaks or something happens it really never comes off even if it was to quit working um i would still leave it there if i didn't have another one and just keep it as a dummy camera the more you keep these areas safe uh the less you mess with them uh for instance if i take the camera away not to say that it would ruin the spot but deer probably would be like okay what's going on they really catch on uh, to when things change. This is their house, um, just like as if it was inside of our house. They they notice those changes and sometimes, depending on what you do, it can have a huge impact. Um, what I also want to explain is, you know, how often do you come into a spot like this? Because even though, you know, I'm leaving this camera here year-round, I do like to come in at least a few times a year check make sure everything's working well and that's what's really important right about this time of year um, this this mid-summer period I think it's really important to come into these areas for a lot of different reasons uh, bucks are really starting to develop um, you'd hate to miss out whether the camera wasn't working right or there's a bunch of brush that grew over it um, you want to make sure that you're able to capitalize on what's going on even this time of year um, so that's why I really like this midsummer period to come into these areas uh, that you know that I'm not coming into more than a few times a year just to play it safe. But what I do, I make sure the camera's working right. Uh, you bring fresh batteries. Um, also, it's important to bring like some pruning snips, sometimes a weed whacker or anything to knock down weeds. But to come in here right about now and just do a quick cleanup, and that way. Uh, you know, even if things start to grow back, once uh, we get into the tail end of summer, which is pretty soon, um, things won't grow back to the certain point where it's going to have any effect on the visual from your camera. So overall, uh, I just hope that you understand uh, that, you know, your best spots, leave your cameras there year round if you can. Um, don't go in there often, but go in there at the right times. You know, I'll probably come back here maybe one more time you know just before October make sure the batteries are good everything's going well in here and then I'll leave it be till you know closer to the rut when I plan to hunt here um, so thanks a lot for watching hopefully you learned something from this we've got a lot more to come and God bless